because it's just like, does body size matter? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Connor. I'm a rope top, smut peddler, and I'm the head gimp of the Paraphilia Collective. I've been in the kink scene for five years, and a little rope studio called Anatomy popped up on FetLife. And so I went to a couple of jams, went to a couple of classes, and then gradually started tying more and more. And then I think maybe in the last three years, I started taking it more seriously and started developing a way of tying that I enjoy specifically. And, and well, I suppose now I'm here now. <laughs> I've only ever used the rope from Anatomy, and I, so it's by default my favorite, but I think, I think you just buy the rope from the people in your local community that are making it, because I think that that's the most important thing to do. Um, I mean, it's like quite complicated, isn't it? Uh, in person is obviously the best. Uh, all of the most complicated parts of rope are sorted out by your fingers, by touch, by tension, by the feel of a body, by the muscles and the fat and the bones and all of these kind of things. So you need somebody who's been through that process to, sh to show you how those things work. And then video resources are a thing that help you build upon those initial building blocks. Uh, well, you're not buying one, so you don't necessarily find one. You should probably find a partner who you enjoy spending time with because the best rope ties are from people that you've tied with many, many times before. So I think there's this idea that like you can come into a space and say, oh, I want this experience. Who's the best person that can give it to me? But that's not the way it works. If you want to, if you really want to, learn rope and have an amazing experience you should build a relationship with a person who's either willing to learn or who's in the process of learning and then you develop together and so all of my best development as a rope top at least has come learning with people consistently over the span of a year or two years or three years or whatever yes body size absolutely matters um, and I mean, I think it's quite a complicated question because there's an idea of representation, which is one thing, but body size and body shape, all of these things matter. And as a rope top, at least, the most important thing is to learn how to tie with these different body types. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's super complicated because, you know, Somebody could be, no one knows how flexible they are when their arms are behind their back, or nobody knows how flexible or strong they are when their legs are open or their back is bent or, or any of these things. And you only learn how to tie these different compositions of bodies through practice. And so, so yes, it, it does matter, of course, but the learning that you need to do to be able to tie any body type is never insurmountable. I put on my rosary beads, get on my knees, I hold the rope, say a little prayer to God, our Father, our Heaven, and then I place it down with all the other ropes, and then, and then, yeah, say another our Father, and then it's done, perfect, every time. Yeah, I think the, like, maybe the, the best rule through kink all the way is always expect your partner to faint. If you always expect your partner to faint, you're probably considering what's on the floor, what would happen if they fell, can I pick them up if they were body were limp? Um, and then I think the, the other side of that is that what you should think is you've hurt your partner and you feel responsible and they say, why did this happen? And they say, well, Connor on the Instagram video said that I should do this and then your partner will leave you indefinitely. So if you're gonna get safety advice, it's safety advice that you feel confident with. Um, you should learn from somebody and then maybe use a resource like Clover Brooks Rope Bottoming Guide. Clover Brooks Rope Bottoming Guide, which is a great backup reference to have all the time.
but loads and loads of really nice photos. <laughs> no, uh, that's tote, that's the second part. I put very little time into thinking about those things. Um, what do I get out of it? Uh, you get to communicate with somebody without language. And I think that's very important because you're accessing some kind of pre-linguistic part of somebody's mind through the physicality of you moving ropes in your hands. And so the dialogue that happens without using language is a beautiful thing and it spans a huge spectrum of emotions that are very often difficult to uh, access in, in normal life. Well, I mean, like, I think that one of the things that I like the most, and I think the most indicative thing of somebody's mental state is what their toes are doing. You know, if they're like splayed out, or if they're curled, or if they're crunched, or if their foot is bent, uh, you can tell an awful lot, but unless you know what is happening in that person's mind when they show those things, um, they don't make sense. So. You need to be able to note what signifiers mean certain things, but also what those things mean to the person who's signifying them. Um, well, it's, I don't know, it isn't always important. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not a definite thing, but for me at least, the, the aftercare isn't the hour after, it's, it's very often the following day or the day after that, is that like you've, you've come into this very strong emotional space and who the person who you've tied could feel a sense of sadness or a sense of regret or a sense of fear or all of these like, I mean, it's a drop ultimately, you know? And I think the important thing is, is that like, you're there supporting them whenever that drop happens. So it might be the 10 minutes after they've come down, or it could be the following day, or it could be two days later, who knows? And I think that's a really important thing that the tie stops when both people feel like it's stopped. And the time span that that could happen in is, well, who knows really, ultimately. It could be a long time, but it's definitely not gonna be in that one day or that one evening.